It's a joy to come again and share with you these moments of devotion. In Acts chapter 5, the Bible tells us that many signs and wonders were being wrought by the hands of the apostles to the point that people were coming out of surrounding villages to Jerusalem. They were bringing uh, people who were sick and demon-possessed. They brought them on beds and on mats. And they laid them in the streets, hoping that at least the shadow of Peter would fall upon them. The Bible does not tell us that there was healing in Peter's shadow, but it infers uh, that uh, those who were desperate and in need believed uh, that even if his shadow was to cross the pathway of those who were sick and demon-possessed, that healing and deliverance could take place. Here is the undisputed truth of life's unconscious influence. Peter passing by unaware uh, that his shadow is falling across uh, the pathway of those who were sick and diseased and demon possessed. It is to remind us that we are all influencing either for good or bad those whom we are coming in contact with day by day. That we have a influence and that influence is twofold, it's voluntary or involuntary. That we have a conscious influence that we are aware of. That's why we don't say or do certain things in public or in front of certain people. But then there's this unconscious influence that we all have, that we are influencing people even when we are unaware. That we all, like Peter, cast a shadow. Regardless of who we are, we all cast a shadow. Some for good, others for bad. The thing about our shadow, one is that our shadow is silent to remind us that our greatest influence is in the life that we live. That not only are people looking at us, but in some cases they are looking up to us because we profess to be believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. We profess to be his followers. So they not only look at us, but many are looking up to us. And then our shadow depicts the real us. We are waiting, writing a gospel as we live each day by the deeds we do, and by the words we say. People, some folk, the only Bible they will ever read is the life of a child of God. That we are sometimes the only gospel many will ever read. So the question is, what is the gospel according to you? Is your lifestyle consistent, both when you are conscious and even when you are unconscious? And then our shadow is indestructible. Once we have cast an influence, we cannot take it back. And then the thing about the shadow is we only have a shadow when we are in proper relations to the light. So if you're going to have a godly shadow, a good influence in life, both conscious and unconscious, uh, the bottom line is you have to line up with the light, and that light is Jesus Christ. Are you in line with the light? Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for reminding us that we have a conscious but also an unconscious influence, that people are reading our lives and watching us and looking up to us even when we are unaware. So, oh God, we pray that you will strengthen and bless us, that as we walk each day, we walk with you and that we are influencing those around us. Bless us now, we pray, in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. 
I want to remind you that we are in a week of fasting and praying as we ask the Lord to prepare our heads and hearts for revival. We have a prayer call uh, at noon and then again at 6.30 in the evening. We're fasting from uh, midnight to noon. And maybe because of health reasons and medication and diet, you're unable to fast with us. But there are other things you can do. There are things you can give up. There are things that you can give yourself more fully to the Lord as he prepares our heads and hearts for revival. And then remember on Sunday morning, we begin at 8.30 with our Sunday school review, followed at 9 a.m. with worship. And then next week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, February 14th, 15th, and 16th, we will be in revival. The Reverend Brianis Mitchell of the Mount Gilead Baptist Church in Nashville, Tennessee, will be our preacher. We begin each evening at 7 o'clock. Please join us. If you can't be in person, be with us by way of live stream. God bless you, and you have a great day.